This question is related to a parallelogram law of forces. Okay. See the question. The resultant of two forces acting at an angle of 60 degrees is under root of 49. If they act at right angles, their resultant would be under root of 34. Find magnitude of forces. This is the question. This question is related to parallelogram law of forces. Okay. The, in this question, the uh, two resultant force, force is given and two angles given. That means alpha. Clear? Then the resultant of two forces. The resultant force is denoted by R. Okay. So in this question, two resultant force given. So that's why I'm taking R1. The next one is R2. Two resultant forces. Okay. The resultant of two forces acting at an angle of 60 is under root of 49. Okay. So R1 is the under root of 49. Then alpha equal to 60. So this is the case 1. Next, if they act at right angles. So what is the meaning of right angles? Right angles means 90 degrees. So in this question, alpha equal to 90 degrees given. This is the case 2 their resultant would be under root of 34 their resultant is under root of 34 find magnitude of forces okay so magnitude of forces means you need to calculate the p comma q equal to question mark or f1 and f2 two forces okay so this is the given data but how to find out the p and q or f1 or f2 or F1 and F2. So we know the parallelogram law of forces formula. So what is the formula of parallelogram? Then R square equal to, sorry, R equal to under root of P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha. So this is the formula for parallelogram law of forces. So in this case, the resultant force given under root of 49 under root of 49 ok so that's why I am taking so in terms of R square in terms of R square equal to P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha ok so please take case 1 this is the case 1 so please consider or please take case 1. Then this R1 value substitute in this equation. Okay. So 49 whole square equal to P square plus Q square plus 2 into then Q into cos then alpha equal to in case 1 alpha equal to 60. Alpha equal to 60. Okay. Then See you under root of 49. Okay. So this one root and square cancel. The remaining terms are the remaining terms are 49 49 equal to P square plus Q square plus 2 into P into Q into cos 60. Cos 60 means 1 by 2. Cos 60 is the 1 by 2. So this one, this one is the cancel. So remaining terms are 49. Then equal to P square plus Q square plus PQ. Clear? 49 equal to P square plus Q square plus PQ. So please consider this is the equation 1. Equation 1. Okay. So again take case 2, case 2, then resultant force equal to under root of 34, substitute in parallelogram law of forces, okay, so then R square equal to P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha, 2PQ cos alpha, this is the case 2, this one is the case 2, <coughs> okay. So then R equal to how much in case 2 under root of 34 R equal to under root of 34 whole square equal to P square plus Q square plus 
टू पी क्यू इन टू देन अल्फा इक्वल टू नाइनटी सो नाइनटी सो डायरेक्टली सो नॉट इवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन बट वन क्लू इज दे सो विच इज क्लू दिस वन इज द क्लू राइट एंगल राइट एंगल मीन्स नाइनटी देन अल्फा इक्वल टू नाइनटी सब्सिट्यूट इन दिस इक्वेशन नाइनटी ओके सो दिस वन दिस वन इज द कैंसल द रिमेनिंग टर्म्स आर थर्टी फोर इक्वल टू p square plus q square plus so cos 90 is the zero 2 pq into zero is the zero this one is the uh, zero okay so the remaining terms are 34 equal to p square plus q square so this one is equation two okay so this one is the equation one and this one is the equation two okay solve this a problem by using so these two equations okay so please see the procedure how to solve the this one this problem okay and see here see here this one is the equation 1 from equation from equation 1 and 2 1 and 2 okay so 49 equal to P square plus Q square plus P Q. So this is the equation one. Okay. So please substitute equation two. Please substitute equation two in equation one. Okay. Forty nine equal to so P square plus Q square equal to how much? Thirty four. Instead of P square plus Q square, substitute thirty four. The remaining term is P Q. The remaining term is P Q, okay. Then P Q equal to forty nine minus thirty four. Forty nine minus thirty four, okay. So how much? Forty nine minus thirty four is the fifteen. Then P Q equal how much? Fifteen, okay. So this is the step number three. In step number one, so calculate equation one. In step number two, calculate the equation two by using condition two. Okay. In step number three, step number three. Okay. You need to calculate the PQ value. Clear? Next. But in this question, find magnitude of forces. That means calculate the two forces P and Q or F one and F two. Okay. So, but see the procedure. We don't. We don't know the P and Q, okay? So we have one value P Q equal to fifteen P square plus Q square equal thirty four, okay? So from these two values, so we can find out the P and Q easily. Then see the procedure, okay? We know that one formula P plus Q whole square. We know that one formula, okay? So we know that one formula, P plus Q, P plus Q whole square equal to whole square equal to P square plus Q square plus two P Q. Okay, so this is the condition one. So again, take P minus Q whole square, P minus Q whole square. Okay. So what is the formula of P minus Q whole square? That means A minus B whole square. P square plus Q square minus two P Q minus two P Q. Then see here. P plus Q whole square equal to. Okay. Then P square plus Q square equal how much? P square plus Q square equal how much? Thirty four. Plus two into P Q equal how much? Fifteen. P Q equal how much? Fifteen. P plus Q square equal thirty four. Then P plus Q whole square equal to thirty four plus fifteen into two thirty sixty four. Then P plus Q equal to under root of sixty four. Under root of sixty four means eight. Then P plus Q equal to eight. Okay, so please consider this is the I think equation is three. Equation is 
3 okay so next one is so you need to calculate the equation number 4 also okay so please see the procedure p minus q whole square equal to then p square plus q square equal to how much 34 p square plus q square equal to 34 minus 2 into then pq equal to how much 15 15 okay then p minus q whole square equal to 34 minus 30 34 minus 30 okay then p minus q equal to how much so 34 minus 30 is the 4 okay then p minus q equal to under root of 4 the finally p minus q equal to how much 2 this is the equation number 4 so after that after that so please take third and fourth equations from these two equations uh, calculate this so p and q you will uh, you can easily uh, calculate the p and q values from these two equations three and four okay let's see the procedure so this one is the p plus q equal to i the next uh, this one is the p minus q equal to two so please subtract subtract 3 and 4 3 minus 4 this is the equation 3 and this is the equation 4 equation 4 so finally you will do you will get minus this is the plus this is the minus okay so my plus p minus p is the cancel the remaining term plus q plus q is the 2q next finally i minus 2 is the 6 okay so from this equation we will get so q equal to how much 3 okay so q equal to 3 q equal to 3 so this q equal to 3 value substitute in equation 3 or 4 as your wish so now i am substituting the q value in equation 3 okay p plus 3 equal to 8 okay then p equal to you can see here then p equal to p equal to 8 minus 3 8 minus 3 equal to 5 so finally so i got the answer p equal to 5 newtons q equal to 3 newtons see here then p equal to 5 newtons q equal to 3 newtons so this is the procedure and this this question is very 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 important for the semester examinations Okay.